Now what's about this, but I'm gonna do it. Can I do it? Okay, ready? the water you know so now i'm going to add the mackerel because i'm going to wash it off with um fresh water already so i'm going to even cut it in um smaller pieces you know because the pot here is not so big yes i am so i'm going to just add them in piece piece yeah man i hold for mackerel this you know when i say it's run down a unique dish you know man Cook run down it all, it's run down very fast. We need that in too much more to feed. So we're gonna leave it now for about ten minutes. And um by that time now the the, the salt will be removed. Then our next step is to begin the run down process. So keep watching. Okay, so it's so now after ten minutes. And this is what it look like, you know. very soft, right? So you can remove the bone and so on. So now we're going to go to that stage now where we're going to remove the bone. But you know, we have to cool it down. So I'm going to pour off the, the hot water and I'm going to add some um, cola water to it. Um, you can actually, if you don't want to do that, you actually can wait a little until it cool down naturally. But you know, who have time for that? You know, better just use some cola water. And reduce it but during that process be careful that not to um, less um the fish so let's do it mm -hmm. so remember that sliced garlic i told you about i add it to the oil now you know and i'm extracting the the flavor so i'm just um stirring a little for it not to burn too quick but um it will burn eventually because um it's not about eating this garlic, but it's only for extracting the flavor. And then we will remove it once it gets brown. And then um, we will add um, celery next. And we will leave celery for a few seconds to extract some flavor as well. Then we'll add the onion next. And the onion, when, when, once it, it, it gets burned a little, um, the, the, it begins to get sweet. After the onion, we can add any other thing, the carrot or the garlic or the celery and are the carrot and I stop recording later. 
Mm, nice smell. In Jamaica, do you usually use garlic for extraction? Um, no, not really, but maybe some people. But for me, I actually learn it from a Japanese person. You know. um, a lot of these processes I'm doing at this early stage, I learn it from a Japanese person. You know, for this flavoring um, of the oil and so on. And I, I like it, I like how it smells too. You know. That's why I do it. Okay, so now it's good enough. I think you don't have no more flavor now. So I'm gonna remove it now. Cool. Yes, I am. So now we're gonna add the celery. But I'm gonna. Cool. So. Here we go. Alright. You know, so this nice, yeah, it's good enough. Okay, yeah. So the purpose now is to just give it a few seconds, not as long as the garlic, but but very swiftly, because um, celery in terms of the the flavor, it's not so difficult to to extract it. You extract faster than the garlic. All right. So our next step now is to add uh, onion. And um, one of the reasons why I add the onion early is to make the onion um, get sweetened. So once the onion burn a little in the oil and you know, um, get softened without other food, the onion actually gets sweet. Right. So after we had um, we still are on the onion, everything good now. You know we can add any other thing um, later, but the onion need a little time to get softened. So give it a few minutes, but continue stirring because you don't want it, unlike the garlic, you don't want the onion to burn. It's going to be bad. You don't want the celery to burn either. So, you know, that's why you see some chefs sometimes throw up in the air and they blip, blip, blip. But, you know, so skillful, my heart is. So, give it a few seconds. Huh? Mm, so translucent now man. Yeah, hard. The other things I know. So sweet pepper, go away. Come again another day. Alright, add chili pepper and the non-spicy pepper. Go away, come back again another day. Now we're adding some Maggi. Go away, come again another day. And then next thing we're gonna add is the garlic. Go away, come again another day. Yeah, good. So, give it just a few seconds and then we're going to add our coconut milk. See, okay, and coconut milk is very important, you know. Um, some people, by the way, they put the coconut milk first and leave it for about 10 minutes, maybe, until they, they no, 10 minutes to about Sorry, 15 minutes to about 20 minutes they leave it for until the coconut reduce. And um, in Jamaica we call that simmer and then they begin to add all of these ingredients. But some people like it this way too. So this way, or this way, and this way I cook it. That confusing. So I'm cooking it this way because I like this way. Okay, cool? so we're going to add coconut milk just about now. I think beet and we can add coconut milk yet. No, I think you can do it. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Alright, you sure? Mm -hmm. Alright. So this is Rondong, aka Bolo, aka Deep and Fallback. And it's a, one of my favorite Jamaican um, dish. It's enjoyed by many people. Cool. So that was the about one cup of coconut milk cool but it looked like it could um add a little more coconut milk but hmm that really should be okay it, yeah, at least it will reach um the reduce the reducing stage very quick all right so we give it some time
Okay, so now it's time for some dry spices. So I'm going to begin with uh, black pepper. So I'm using a teaspoon, but normally I will just throw from 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 the pocket. But I can't tell that the judgment of this. But just use the imagination. So now I add some black pepper. So next I'm going to add. Just a little garlic powder just to um, ensure that the garlic is kicking you now because garlic is a very good flavor. So next I'm going to add now a little garlic to do the finishing. You know, I already had some garlic earlier, so just a little because we already had some garlic, so it should be okay. And this garlic you know, from Nidaru, Nidaru has a very good garlic the flavor is very good and this is a uh, coriander and um i want to mention though that the spice is really up to you i'm just using what i have available and what i tried before and it really tastes good so this should do it and, um, yeah. mm -hmm. you see look there you see see this this is how you know so it has my look here. you see it right here and if you can see right here see Mm. The flavor kick my backside. Mm. Okay, look, you see? Just keep this other part of everybody like. See? It's a juicy part, yeah? A part of everybody like. Uh, it make you dip and fall back. Right, so my wife not dip and fall back and can't come up back. Oh, here's some sort. <laughs> Alright, so I eat that, guys. I eat that. Presentation next. Continue watching. I'm going to make Leia drink today, or it's called Fu's Cafe. You know the colorful cocktail. So, what it used to make layers of different color is the slight difference in weight in different drink, alcoholic drink, syrup, water, juice, etc. So today we are going to use uh, the syrup. We have these syrups. I'm gonna pick a um, pink one and then the orange soda then the alcoholic part we're gonna use Bacardi rum, it's a Cuban rum last time we used coconut mania, coconut rum from Jamaica but this time Bacardi so let's start I'm going to pour orange soda first And then carefully put this syrup by using the spoon. We don't have bar spoon, but we can we can just use spoon. Last part will be this white rum. Alright, so now is that time, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's our presentation. So we have our food carving, we have our cocktail. We have some spicy onion, we have the main dish, which is the rondom, and um, we also have our fruits, and we have avocado and tomato, of course in Jamaica we say pear, and um, we have um, dumpling, which is our side dish. So, we also have a lot of extra vegetables, because you know, um, 
you like it when vegetables are over fifty percent of the meal. Mm. It tells us that you know they are okay. Not perfect, but they are okay. So let's add a rundown to um, this year. Um, okay. So we add a rundown. We're going to give it a try. Right, we're going to taste it and give it a try. So the only thing missing now is our spicy onion ring. Mm -hmm. So you mind giving us some? Okay. Yeah. So this is a Jamaican spice vinegar onions. My Japanese brothers and sisters, this is really good. The combination of uh, spice, spice and vinegar. Perfect combination. So I'm going to add this to the plate. Right, onion. Mm -hmm. So let's give it a try. Yay. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. See you next time. One love. Peace.